Our next guest is an entrepreneur and philanthropist inspiring millions to tap into their inner power, accomplish their dreams. He is revealing his secrets to reaching financial freedom in his brand new York Times seller, Money, Money Master the Game. It's out in paperback today. Please welcome Tony Robbins. <laughs> Wonderful. Please, please. Nice to see you. Woo! There's no applause sign. That's coming from the heart. There's no applause <laughs> sign right here. We changed our state. We changed our state I like see that. that. You like that? <laughs> That's what you're about. You have inspired so many people. Where does that come from? When did that inspiration begin for you? Pain. <laughs> mm, yeah. I grew up in a pretty tough environment, and uh, my mom was loved me dearly, and I have a younger brother, younger sister, uh, but she abused alcohol and prescription drugs and was very violent. And so I became a practical psychologist to kind of figure that out. And since I've suffered so much, I don't want anybody else to suffer. So I became obsessed with finding answers to change people's lives. And you have changed people's lives from all walks of life. Uh, Oprah talked about how your power is superhuman, and you have. You bring out the best of us. You're, you're the catalyst of change. And, and why do you think that is? Um, I think part of it is 38 years, going to my 39th year doing this with people from 100 countries around the world, 50 million people. So at this point, I could be an idiot, and I have to see there are patterns that make people crazy, depressed, frustrated, and there are patterns that make you fulfilled and joyous and connected and feel grateful. So. Nobody's broken, nobody needs to be fixed, but we have patterns that get in the way, and I know how to change those. And this new book, this is a little bit of a departure for you, talking about money in the financial world. And, and there was something in 2008, you were angry with what you were seeing, and you wanted to help people. Well, I, you know, when I saw people losing half of all they earned in the stock market or losing their homes during that time, it wasn't a statistic for me. And I had a unique gift, which is, most people don't know, for 22 years I've coached a man named Paul Tudor Jones, who's one of the top 10 financial traders in the history of the world. And I coach him literally every day, and he's not lost money in 22 years. There's no one else on earth that can say that in his category. Mm. So I've learned a lot, and I thought if I interviewed 50 of the smartest people in the world and figured out, is it possible for the average person to still win this game in a stock market where 70% of the trades are done by high-frequency traders, right? And the answer is you can still win. What is the biggest mistake that we make when it comes to our finances? I think number one is everybody spends so much, so we all say I have no money to invest. And the real reason we don't invest is because we don't understand the power of compounding. Um, there's a gentleman named Theodore Johnson, such a perfect example. He never made more than $14,000 a year working at UPS as a driver. He retired with $70 million and gave away $35 million. And all that happened is a friend of his said, I'm going to put a 20% tax on you. He said, you'd, if the government gave a 20% tax, you'd scream, you'd yell, but you'd pay it. And we're going to put that money aside and just keep reinvesting it. That's the power of compounding mm -hmm. in those areas. And, especially and, then, and then the other one, though, is getting the wrong advice, which is why I wrote this book. Because I went to the best on earth. None of this is my advice. It's the 50 smartest people in the world. It's the Warren Buffetts. It's the Ray Dalios. It's the Carl Icons. But it's getting the right advice, and I really promote what's called a fiduciary standard, an F word. <laughs> uh, it sounds really complicated. What it means is most people that are giving you advice are brokers, and they're good people, but they're selling for the house, and the house always wins. Uh, if you get a fiduciary, an RIA, that's a person who's legally required to put your needs first. If they tell you to buy Apple today and they buy it later today and make more money, you get their stock if they bought it cheaper. So I align myself with a firm called Creative Planning. If you go to creativeplanning.net, and they work with millionaires and billionaires and create what's called a family office, where they take care of every aspect of your life. And I convinced them to bring that down to any family with $50,000 and give them a second opinion. So if you'd like one, go to creativeplanning.net. They'll do a second opinion, cost you nothing, and then you can implement it yourself or you can become a client. Say it, say it again, creative... Creativeplanning.net. Creative 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 okay, mm -hmm. we'll do that. Well, we have some questions here. Andre wants to go first. What's your question for hey, Tony? Tony? So I have a friend who's been in a negative emotional place for two or three years now, and... I want to know how to help them because you helped me uh, when I read your book and I want to know how to help them through the same process. You know, parents say this to me also about their kids all the time and we all want to help everybody else but the most powerful way to do is if you help yourself first. I can do what I do with my life because I lost 38 pounds and I kept it off for 25 years. I went from broke to financially free. So it's hard to help somebody else when you haven't lived it. But I think the way you can do that is we've all met somebody, haven't you met somebody who walks in the room and sucks the energy out of the building? <laughs> 
and, you know, and then you have also people that walk in and, you know, you feel lifted by their presence, right? Or somebody who, you know, thinks they're funny, but they're not, but they crack themselves up and you laugh. So changing your own state, getting yourself to not suffer is really valuable. So I thought, you know, if you'll give me two minutes, oh. let's do something really fast. We just want okay. to stand up. I'll show you something really simple. Okay, let's really do simple. it. How many of you, I want you to think of something, anybody at home as well, that uh, stresses you, some unfinished business. It may be something upsets you or you're frustrated about or you need to do something about, but you keep putting it off, and who knows what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so think of something, though, on a zero to 10 scale that maybe is a seven of upset or more, eight, nine, 10. If it's a three or four, it won't be quite as valuable. Okay. And we'll do this real fast. It's not yeah, fair to do it in two minutes, let's try it. What I want you to do is to understand when you're stressed, you're not gonna help your partner. When you're feeling their pain, you can't help them. When you're stressed, your heart and your brain, if I could show you an EEG and EKG, they look really jagged and they don't look anything like each other. If you breathe in your heart for two minutes, this is proven physiologically, just put your hands on your heart, breathe deep in your heart, actually physically feel, and those at home can do this as well, like, like the oxygen and the blood is mm. flowing into your heart. And as you're doing it, for two minutes, we'll do less than two minutes here, I want you to think of three things you're grateful for. But I want you to step in like you're there, like not watching the roller coaster over there, imagine you're going over the edge. Stop just for a moment, breathe deep in your heart, physically feel your heart, mm. and then think of one of those things, step in it like you're there for a moment. Breathe it, feel it, feel so grateful. Because when you're grateful, there's no anger. When you're grateful, there's no fear. Think of another one you're grateful for. Really feel it. Step in, hear, feel, see, and then one more and enjoy it, like really take in mm. the blessing of that moment, the gift of that moment. And then while you're still breathing in your heart, I want you to think of the thing that was upsetting you at a seven or above, but keep breathing in your heart. Keep feeling this feeling of gratitude. And just to answer this question, all I need to remember in that situation, all I need to focus on, all I need to do is what? But keep breathing in your heart. All I need to remember all I need to focus on, all I really need to do is what? And your heart knows the answer. Raise your hand if you know what to do right I now. Do, Raise yeah. your hand. Look around the group. And what is it? Is it 100%? Wow, that's pretty cool. And that was two minutes. So yeah, if you that. put yourself in that place, go ahead and have a seat I if you would. And I was able to do it with somebody yelling in my ear to rap. <laughs> I was able to do that. So I mean, if I could do that being told to rap, so we, we do need to go and we need to say all of your proceeds, where'd they go for this book? Where do they the go to Feeding America. We fed 102 million people last year. I added a check more than the book. That yeah. 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 All right. And everybody here is getting a book. Everybody here is getting yeah. a book. Yeah. Yeah. Great to see you. Great to see you. Mm -hmm. Great to see you healthy and strong. Thank you.